Hello everybody. I'm coming down underneath here. This is my 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium ion phosphate 4 battery. I have a charge controller here that controls the 100 watt solar panels on the roof of the cargo trailer. However, I also have a suitcase 100 watt solar panel and it has its own charge controller. So I wired in this power switch here and sitting in the position where the arrow is pointing this way right now I'm using uh, the solar panel on the roof and then when I want to park this more in the shade and put the suitcase panel out in the sun on a 30 foot extension cord I switch it over to the number two position and then that just uses that charge controller because you can't parallel charge controllers and the other thing is if I turn it to the off position, the red switch, I can use the battery powered, the battery charger that's plugged in to the battery and charge that if I'm at a location. Right now I just, I have it on, but it's not charging right now. But by doing this, I get to have the best of both worlds for solar. The electrical was fun to do because of the fact that I was doing it uh, in a different way because with two different charge controllers. I have the fuse panel up here for this for the refrigerator and for the cooler and then down here I have another fuse panel for the lights, the fan, and the rest of the uh, 12 volt system including the light in the bathroom. So it was a simple solution to having two different types of solar charge controllers. Anyway, I hope you got an idea about this and any questions, please comment. Thanks very much.